Welcome everybody to the channel, new subscribers, old subscribers, anybody in between. This is Phil Beckwith, the professional painter and decorator. Yeah, professional, what does professional mean? Does it mean that you get paid for the job you're being, well, does it mean you get paid for the job you're being done? I don't know, does that make you a professional? Or does it make me a professional because I've now been doing this since 1990 when I left school, did four years at college to get City and Girls Advanced Craft, full indentures for an apprenticeship, all the paperwork that you can ask for under the sun, followed on by, I did my teacher training and my, what was it? Oh, City and Guild 7307. I did the D numbers for MVQ assessing. So yeah, does it make me qualified to actually tell you what I think about paints? Quite possibly it does. Right, this video is linking in with the playlist for the flat renovation. Now, you've probably seen also the last time I was in this room, I'd done the spraying of the ceiling with the bed deck, uh, spray daylight. So that'll be a video there, hopefully. But this video now isn't gonna be showing you how to do painting. It's more of a bit of touch. Let's just touch base with each other. I'm with friends, friends, Facebook friends, YouTube friends, friends. Want that good in between us. Well, that's, oh, I can't wait for the kids to be old enough to watch that because it's just so funny. That fish, and it's smacking that fish on that little dinghy boat. You know which I'm on about, don't you? The in between is. If you're in America, just Google um, or Yahoo, whatever you want it. Nobody ever says Yahoo, it's always Google, isn't it? Google the in between is. Get some videos up of, it might not be your sense of humor if you're in America. Spencer, my friend Spencer the paper hanging guy in Tampa, in Florida. He doesn't always understand what I'm on about. I'm speaking English. Never mind. but please Google the Inbetweeners and watch some of those clips. If you've watched the Inbetweeners, the movie, and they're on that water slide, and that thing's chasing him down that water, you know, you know where I'm coming from. <sighs> Going on, I digress. Right, I just want to talk to you on this one. We're on the flat renovation product project and um, I just want to, I get a few questions asked that sometimes don't really have a chance to answer people. Now, one of the main things is, what is my main, and I hate the word go-to. I use the word go-to because that's obviously what people are asking. What's your go-to paint? Now, I'm going to say to you, on this job, I've been given or gifted or samples of some paints to use. The Benjamin Moore, Ben, I really liked it. There's a video there. But it's not something I've, I've used before other than being on this job. And would I use it again? Yes. But my main paint, and if you ask Beck, Beckwith Decorators, that's my father's business, MD Beckwith Decorators, and you ask my father and you ask Brian, who's been working for us since 1966. He's 72 now. If you say, what's our main paint to use for emulsioning? Right, it's expensive, but this is what our main paint is. And you've seen the thumbnail, Optiva 5. Ticarilla, Optiva 5. It's 5% sheen, it's scrubbable, it's wipeable, you name it. It's a hard wearing finish. Now, that 10 litre tub, correct me if I'm wrong, retailing, it's about 130, 40 quid, 130, 40 quid. 10 litre tub, but there's nine litres of paint in it. Mad. That would be our main paint to use if we've just got an ordinary painting and decorating job that we want an emulsion paint to use, we would use that. Why do we use that? One, it's hard wearing. Two, you can wipe it without it polishing up. And three, the sorts of jobs we're doing, I don't know, it sounds like I'm bragging and boasting. The sorts of job we do, the material costs aren't really affecting us, if that makes sense. We always price, we price for a job. There's only very, very few instances that we don't give a quote for, and it's normally through customers that are just saying, look, get on with it, Mr. Beckwith, um, get on with it. We know you're not gonna rip us off and we'll charge for the time that we've been on the job because they know what we're doing. Because sometimes you can't always price a job up. But normally, if it's an ordinary straightforward room, you, you give a quote. So that's your materials and labor in one and the price is either accepted or it's not. If somebody, if it's can't afford it and we're too expensive, 
we're only too expensive for them. There's always somebody out there that wants a quality job doing with quality paints. So we don't look at cheap paints. Oh, let's move on. <laughs> so that would be our paint. I'm tapping it and you can't see. It. That would be our paint to use for normal, just domestic painting and decorating. Now, with the evolution of paints, probably not the wrong word to say, isomat. I've recently been using isomat premium on walls. What a lovely paint that is. The only downside of that is you've got to order it because if it's a mixed color, you need to give at least 24 hours notice to get it for next day. Sometimes that doesn't always work out on jobs, but if you know that you've got a job coming up and the customers actually pick the color prior to actually getting there, you could probably get that on the job for the day that you're starting. But premium from Isomat, that is a lovely, it's got a smooth application. Yeah, I'd say it's a smooth application paint the finish is very, I'll say a velvety finish. Very nice. Very similar to that Benjamin Moore Ben. Now, is that because of the quality paints? Quite possibly. Um, so that's what we'd normally be using. We sometimes use Isomat. We're sometimes using more Ticcarilla Optiva 5. There's Optiva 3, which is the ceramic finish. Sometimes we use that for a harder wearing finish, but personally, I don't like that dryness of that Optiva 3, particularly when you've got it in dark colors. If you're looking for the greens and bits and pieces like that, it can be a little bit dry looking. And I know because I've done it in my own staircase hallway, it's a dark green and my wife went, what we had that color for? And I went, I like it, but it is a very dry finish. Right, we've spoke about paints for ceilings. The Bed X Spray Daylight's very nice. I'll be using that more if I can. Our main sealing paint would be a Ticcarilla Anti-Reflex, which, well, it's Anti-Reflex 2. That's on that video there if you've not already seen it. And then the other, the other questions that I get asked, what are my rollers and what are my brushes? Right, you've seen on previous videos, I like, if, I'm, if I've got an emulsion brush, it's a four inch Eco Union, which used to be Eco Ease but they don't do them anymore. So Eco Union, four inches, lovely. And I'm on my last brush that I've got of that. So what do we do? Comments, what do we do when that Eco, that four inch Eco Union brush finishes? Now you might have seen on previous videos and I've got one in there, Lick brushes. Lick do a three inch that's very nice and I'd like them to make a four inch. Are you listening to me? Lick, make a four inch because that would probably take over from my four inch Eco Union. And you know who you are on the lick and the Eco Union. Four inch, we need in a four inch. Right, that's that for emulsioning brushes, four inch, but for cutting in, like on this, if I'm cutting in, what am I using? Two and a half inch oval slash cut, Arrowworthies. I don't think I'm hard, I will put it to you, I'm hard pushed to find a better brush than that for cutting in. Two and a half inch, hard pushed. Tell me that there's a better brush than that. I've tried numerous brushes on that product testing and I still come back to that. Those other brushes are all right and there's certain places that they're ideal for, but for cutting in, can't beat that. It's a lovely bristle, it's soft bristle, it cuts in lovely. Don't over use it, i.e. don't just say, oh, I've had this for two years, isn't it brilliant? you know when that brush is ready to be changed to a new one. So swap your brushes regular. Pack of that's about 17 quid. Look around, shot eight, 17, 18 quid. Nice, they do flat brushes as well, so you don't have to have slash. Um, that's that, rollers, what am I liking at the minute? Two Fussy Blokes rollers, I've got that there. It, well, you can't see it's green, they're normally white. I'm liking the Two Fussy Blokes rollers. Um, nor also do one that's very similar to that, a microfiber that I'm liking, and also Arrowworthy do a microfiber. This is for emulsioning for smooth walls. Now, the actual frame I'm using is a Nor frame. You can see that. I've got a few Nor frames. I was using the Arrow, uh, sorry, I was using the Two Fussy Blokes, lovely handled roller frame, but I must say it's not really sitting well. It's not really sitting well in my um, purdy short uh, roller pole. There's a, it seems to loosen. So I've gone back onto minor frames. 
Um, other than that, what else do I want to talk about? You know, the tapes I'm using it are Q1. And other than that, I think answering the questions and answers, I'm probably covering everything for a general painting job. Now, what I'm going to do, the paint I've got at the minute is, because I've told you, I'm trying to use up paints that I've got in our workshop. If nobody's prepared to send me anything for free, or try this out, which no money's changing hands, I'm using up paints that I've got in the workshop that are from previous jobs. Now I wanted a green colour in here. Now we've got that up to the five, mixed up to Farron Balls, number 75. It's a near, mi a near match. It's as probably close as you'll get as a, um, a company mixing a paint to try and match a Farron Ball colour. It doesn't have to be exact, and it's actually ball green. So number 75, Farron Ball is ball green, and that's mixed up to Ticarilla's Optiva 5. It might not be. If you got a real ball green from Farron Ball, it might be slightly different. I'm not worried. It's just for this flat I'm doing. I wanted a greenish colour. Green goes with virtually anything. And if I'm honest, I can't remember what colour the kitchen is we've picked. Mrs B's picked the colour. It's a grey colour. Grey goes with anything, doesn't it? And green goes with anything. If we don't like the green, we'll redo it. But that I've got enough paint. That's the other thing. Got in the workshop, loads of paints, but they're all like drops in bottom of tins and without me mixing them all in to make one. I wanted a colour that if I need to touch up. So yeah, that's that. Right, have I got some videos coming there or are we blending out some videos? If there's any questions, ask. And I'm gonna finish off by saying thanks to anybody that's sending me super thanks, which there's a button just below me. Below me. It is much appreciated. And um, thank you very much for doing that. I love you all. I'm gonna get cracking on this. You won't see this painted until we do the next videos on probably doing the woodwork. And the woodwork in here, I'm liking that. Scuff X, and I've got enough Scuff X, woodwork will be Scuff X. Then you'll see this room painted. So let me crack on. I'm gonna get on this now, get it painted. Thanks for listening. If there's any questions and answers, questions and answers. If there's any other questions.